The biggest challenges that women currently face in our industry are men. And what needs to change in our industry is men. The roles of women, what women have been tasked to do needs to evolve and change. And I think what we're seeing is that women need more support, they need more resources, and they also need flexibility to not just, you know, run their day-to-day -day lives, but also to soar. While we've made a significant amount of progress uh, over the past number of years, we still feel like a qualified group of people. And by that, I mean, there's too much conversation. There's too many questions around, um, how do you feel as a female leader? How do you feel as a female this, as a female that? And real progress starts when we think about ourselves as independent, intelligent contributors. In other words, being able to say, you know, what is your point of view on leadership? Or what is your point of view on this? The glass ceiling, it's a thing. You would think, you know, after hashtag me too and all of this time and we're in 2022 that that wouldn't be a thing anymore, but it is. And so I think the biggest thing that can address that is to continue to open up opportunities for women to let them come into spaces where they haven't been previously or they haven't been in enough numbers to show their stuff, to exercise their experiences, to be able to make a difference in so many ways inside of our industry. In 2020, the amount of women executives or women CMOs went up, but the actual diversity of those CMOs went down. And so I think there needs to be more representation of different types of women, women of color, in the marketing industry, in senior leadership, in the C-suite. We're women all the time. We're women running our households and, you know, managing so many different things, including in our work environments. And I think all of it needs to evolve to make sure that we are better supported. 